Welcome to Our Gray House Vlogs. Hey y'all, I am running late. I was supposed to be up at church to meet the ladies at 9.30. It's 9.44. So, but I figure, you know what? I haven't been to church in a few weeks and these ladies are awesome. So just to be able to go sit and kind of be with them and support them in whatever they're going through, might as well. And it started to rain, so that's awesome too. We have a pool party to go to today, but uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. And some of you may, may be saying, well, Lisa, why'd you drive? And I'm like, because I do live so close, but it's also starting to sprinkle. And so in case it gets worse, then we can just drive home. Hey y'all, it is now, it's almost 10 o'clock and I'm gonna go to bed now. And my goal is to be prepping to go to bed, be in bed by 10, 15. So I need to start by 10 because it takes me a few minutes to get everything done. I put some books, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you something really quick. Hang on. Ooh, the cat box stinks. And who's playing the game? It's late. Not actually that late, but it is. Somebody played Words with Friends with me, and it's 1014, so I have one minute to get this done. But I wanted to just show you the progress I made on this room. I'm closing the door. Marvin surely can't hear me from the other side of the house, but just in case. So we ended up putting the bookcase over here. I started to put some Nancy Drews on there. That's not how they're gonna remain, but I'm getting books and stuff on there that's going to go on there. So that way I can start getting rid of some of this other junk. But some of the other junk that I'm referring to is this piece right here. Marvin made this for me. It's my jewelry holder and I just collected a bunch of different knobs and or door pulls. I'm not sure what they're called. But anyway, and then I just used to hang my jewelry on. So what I was going to do is, well, for number one, this doesn't fit any of the color schemes. I don't have a spot to put this where this would go. I don't have any room, but I do have some room right where I hang my shorts and my bras. So um, I'm gonna have him make me a smaller version, probably like a strip of wood and then a strip of wood with like little pegs on it or whatever and do it like that. So I only wanna keep so many because I'm not going to be able to keep all of these and truthfully all of these are not functional for example this one I mean it, it can hold something but it's not as good as for example this one that has more room to hold something so when looking at the different knobs that I have here like I really like this one I like this one because I think it's funny and the little mustache one down there I really like this one. Oh, and this one right here I like. And then, whoops, I really like that little guy down there. I like that one a lot. And that's probably the only one that I really like. The rest are just, meh, I mean, they're fine. But I just don't think I need to keep them. Like, they're not like, a, oh, I gotta keep that one. I don't really know what other projects I would use those knobs for um so i don't really have anything in mind at this time that i would use it for so but anyway marvin's gonna do that and then i have this together is my favorite place to be oh i'm gonna hang that somewhere either in the bathroom or the um either the bathroom or the bedroom somewhere. Not really the bathroom kind of sign, is it? <laughs> but I guess somewhere in our bedroom or something like that. I don't know. I'll find a spot for it. And then, so on this side of the room, I'm gonna clear off the desk. That, that big bag is holding a pillow. So once I add some more pillows, then I will take that pillow out and put that on the couch. And I'm gonna spray it with that citrus scent so that the cats will kind of avoid it hopefully that's the idea and then i'm going to put my flat lay material back there because i have another one some in the garage just some flat lay stuff that i use to make flat lays that i haven't done in a long time but if i ever need to do them again or if i start doing some sit down videos 
where I want to do some cutaways and have like a nice little spot, I'll, I'm keeping those for sure. And then of course I have my ring light. Again, if I do sit down videos, doing, doing this kind of video, I would use a green light, I mean a ring light or a green light because I just don't think you need that. This is the desk. I think, I don't know if I'm gonna have Marvin paint that or not. He had painted it the, the wall color of the old office in the old house. And I originally was thinking, oh, I'm gonna have him paint it the same color as the front door. And now I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want it that color, you know? I'm just not really sure. Not, not any particular reason. I might want it white. I might want it maybe the color of the front door. It is a bold color and I do like it, but I'm just anxious and kind of really anxious to get all of this stuff put away so that I can start to feel like an office. Also, I just committed to having the gals from the church over for book club at my house, which is fantastic, but also because I don't have any art up and I feel like it's just unfinished. But we built the space for the purpose of having folks over and being more hospitable in our home. And we're not gonna do that unless we start doing that. So can't start doing that. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why it just cut off, but it just cut off. I'm not sure where it cut off, but we want this we recreated this house. One of the reasons that we built the house is to have more room to have family and friends over. And I won't start having friends over or, you know, like the ladies group or whatever, unless I start like setting a date. Like, so June 12th, folks are going to come over to my house. We're going to do Enneagram stuff. So if you're into that, that's going to be cool to learn more about that and more about myself. I love self-development. I love self-discovery that kind of thing. So that's fun and it'll be fun. But I need to get the space, at least my office space, like reasonable and um, somewhat put away. So that's what I'm gonna focus on for this next week because I'll be here, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. So the rest of the house is fine. I just need to, there's a couple things like um, that I was setting to file. Motion out of front door setting some things that needed to be filed, but, um, and, and I need to file those and get those out of the, the front room, but the living room, I just need to vacuum and dust and, you know, just straighten up. So it won't take but a few minutes to get that ready for folks to come over. And I think we're going to have snacky type foods for supper. So everybody will just bring something and that'll be fun. But I do want the office to be a little bit more organized and the cat litter area a little bit more cleaned up. We did order those screws. Remember we went to Elliot's yesterday? We did order those hooks because, well, I don't want to show you because I don't want to accidentally show you the cat box, which is nasty. But um, the shelf here, okay, so that shelf right there, it has, um, why is there a grid? Okay, I don't want to show you the cat box, so trying to be careful. But this right here, you know what? It's not even that deep. Hmm. I'm going to have to tell Marvin because he was going to buy, he was going to buy like a hook that like that's straight and then curves like that so that he could like screw it to this little ledge here. I guess it would still work. And then I would hang just this curtain rod, which I think I showed you guys, but I had made a curtain like this in the old office. That's what I had hanging up over the window but it's just a regular curtain rod. And then it's got these little things here. And the idea is then you just basically clip the curtain up there. And I'm gonna have to make the curtain and I'll have to decide what material. Marvin thinks the cats are gonna play with it, which they probably will. So I'm gonna have to figure out something, but I just want, like I could leave the curtain open most of the time, but when it comes time for a company to come over, or like the day before, like start closing it so that some of the smell, um, odor stays inside. That's the downside of having a cat. They, they, it smells. They're, you know, supposedly clean animals, but they say that dogs are actually cleaner than cats. But anyway, that's a whole nother, who cares about that? But it, the cat box does smell. And I clean it out twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. 
and I'm fixing to clean it out now because we didn't clean it out earlier. So um, when company comes over, I feel like I clean it out 80 times and it still smells because then they go poop right when somebody comes over. That's always lovely. And I know folks are going to want to see the whole house. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure that the cat area is looking okay. And yes, I'll have candles and I'll have Scentsy going. It's going to be fine, but also it's going to be like, mm -mm, um, got to fix that. But yeah, so let me clean the cat box so I can get to bed. I'm going to set my alarm. I'm trying to get up around 6 o'clock which I know is like, what, Lisa, you got a party to go to or something? No, Marvin enjoyed it when I was up eating breakfast with him, which I don't normally eat breakfast either, but he was just like, I really enjoyed us spending some quiet time together um, the other morning. So I was like, I'm gonna get up early. So I enjoy spending time with him anytime I can get it. And I usually sleep in, that's just what I do. And he goes to bed early and I usually stay up later. So trying to get our schedules a little bit more in sync so we can just spend some more quality time together and hopefully the cats will calm down but yeah anyway I'm gonna go I hope you guys have a great night don't forget be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow bye